the ionic bonding exercise, the weekly homework, uh, the last question, we'll complete the last question discussion. That is about magnesium chloride. Okay. In this question, question five, uh, magnesium react with chlorine to form magnesium chloride, MgCl2. Basically, it is MgCl2 sometimes. It's not appear to be subscript, but it is like MgCl2. Magnesium chloride is an ionic compound. Ionic compound means it is formed by transfer of electron. Complete the diagram to show the electronic structure of ions of magnesium and chloride. Look, as we want to complete, first thing, what you should check whether the structure of atom is given correct or no. When you check for chlorine, how you will identify whether the first thing is because if you know this, if they give you the right structure of atom or they give you incomplete structure of atom, that will have different approach to solve the question. So first thing you should check whether they give you the right structure of the atom. So to know this, you have to use a periodic table. So when you check the periodic table, if magnesium atom was given, which will have 12 electrons. So what should be the structure of magnesium atom? 2, 8 and 2. And for chlorine, it is 17. So what should be the structure? It will be 2, 8 and 7. So magnesium structure or structure of a magnesium So structure of the magnesium will be 2, the first shell it will have 2 electrons, the second shell it will have 8 electrons and the third shell it will have one, uh, 2 electrons and there are 2 chloride, there are 2 chloride and the electronic configuration for chlorine is 2, 8 and 7. So they did not give you the third shell. So you have to draw the third shell here. So chlorine should have a third shell because two, eight and seven. And magnesium should also have three shells because it is two, eight and eight. And first we complete the structure of chlorine. Chlorine belongs to group 7, so it is having 7 electrons in the outermost shell. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So first what we did, we completed the structure of the atoms. But in the question, we don't have to draw the structure of atom. We have to show the ions. So how we represent the ion? Because magnesium is in the last shell is having two electrons. So one of the electron from magnesium transfer to the chlorine on the left hand right hand side, and the second electron from the outer shell is transferred to the chlorine atom on the left hand side. So what will be the new structure now as the electron, two electrons in the outer shell of magnesium? are transferred to chlorine. So this will have one extra electron. This will have one extra electron. So the charge because chlorine take one extra electron, the charge will be minus one. Magnesium loses its last shell electron. So the charge should be plus two. And this chlorine also took one extra electron. So the charge will be minus one. And this is a structure of ionic structure of magnesium ion and chloride ion in magnesium chloride. Is it clear the structure? The magnesium loses the last shell electrons and the chlorine gain each chlorine atom gain one electron to form a chloride ion.
next give three physical properties physical properties refers to like when you talk about the melting point the boiling point these properties are refers to physical properties so what we can say the physical properties of ionic compound we can say they will it will have high melting or boiling point melting or boiling point if you write high melting point high boiling point that is one mark you can that's also a good answer you mentioned it can conduct electricity in a molten or aqueous state and third point you can mention they are water soluble or dissolve in water so three physical properties have a high melting or boiling point that's one the second one conduct electricity but you have to specify in what state it can conduct electricity in molten or aqueous state and the third one you can mention soluble in water most of these ionic compounds are water soluble is it clear the three physical properties of so even in exam if they change this question like example if they say <coughs> So in exam example, if they say, uh, write <clears throat> physical properties of potassium iodide. So you should not change your answer. Your answer should be same. If they say write properties of calcium chloride, because they are all ionic and ionic compounds have the same chemical, uh, same physical properties. That's why we can write the journal physical properties of ionic compound. So this was a weekly homework related to topic ionic bonding the next uh, week homework i will share a covalent bonding homework any question related to this exercise so